Sea Change by Joe Vassilagi. Something wet licked Maku's toes. Go away, dog, Maku mumbled sleepily. It licked his toes again. I said go away, Maku grumbled. Maku stood up and rubbed his eyes. Hmm. Now, where is that naughty dog? And why did his toes feel wet? Maku looked down at his feet in surprise. Tutu, tutu, he shouted. Why is there water splashing through the floor? Tutu appeared at the door. He looked sad. It's the sea, Maku, he said. It's the sea. Maku rushed outside to look. Small waves were whispering over the sand and playing around the feet of the old house. What are we going to do? asked Maku. Could we build a wall to keep the sea away? Tutu shook his head. That's a good idea, he said, but I think it's too late for my little house. Tutu sighed a big sigh. We're going to have to leave our home, Maku, he said. Maku was sad. Why do things have to change? he wondered. He reached out and gently took Tutu's big hand. They stood together quietly and just looked at the sea. I have lived here since I was a small boy, Maku, said Tutu quietly. Look, I carved my name here when I was your age. Suddenly, Maku had an idea. Look, he said, maybe we could build a little house up there, Tutu. He pointed up to the hill. Just think, it would be lovely to live up there. We could still see the sea, but it wouldn't be able to lick our toes anymore. You could sit in the shade under the trees. We could plant some flowers beside the house, and we could grow pawpaw and egg plants and chilies. He added excitedly. Tutu went back and looked at the flowers outside his house. Then he looked up t the hill towards the trees. He gave Maku's hand a squeeze. I think you're right, Maku, he said. I think my flowers would be much happier living up there. I don't think they like the salty water very much. Tutu grabbed the suitcase. Well then, young man, he said. If we're going to move, we had better get busy. Maku smiled a big smile. Our new house will be beautiful, Tutu. I know it will. And maybe I will still be living up there when I am an old man, he said. Tutu laughed. Maybe you will, you will, Maku. Maybe you will. And Maku did.